Hey guys, Bob here at the Hibiscus House Bed and Breakfast. First off, I want to apologize. Last week I was supposed to get my vlog out and I did not. We got super busy over the 4th of July week and it just, it totally got away from us and I had very little time to be able to make a video, edit the video and post the video. So I apologize for the inconsistency there. So I'm going to start up on this one. Uh, last week, or two weeks ago, we did a video that talked about trust and branding. Now, trust is my number one key, as you guys saw in my first video two weeks ago. This, I'm going to talk about the design and what we feel was a key point in building what we're doing with a brand for the bed and breakfast and for our corporation, One Brooks Hospitality Incorporated. So, what you need to do before anything is you have to do a tremendous amount of research. Now, somewhere between scribbling your idea down on a piece of paper and actually starting your business, there is a process that you need to carry out that essentially determines whether your business will succeed or it'll fail. There must be something to this selling game that we're just not getting. Other people do it. I mean, look at that. So from the minute that you start thinking about how excited you're going to be starting your own business, running your own business, producing a good solid product out of your business, you need to make sure that the business you're getting into is going to be a viable business. So I'm going to give you an example. When we originally were looking for B&Bs, we looked up into New England. Most of the B&Bs in New England closed down for four months out of the year. That is not a viable business that I wanted to run. Not saying that the businesses aren't making money, but I wanted to make enough through the course of the year to be a ongoing yearly business. I didn't want it to only be a seasonal thing. Going into the next step, you need to know your niche. This phrase refers to a particular item or group and items that are for use by a particular thing. What the hell did you just say? The niche that you go into will be something that you know very well and something that you're passionate about. But knowing your niche can mean multiple things. We as in owners, we find ways and methods to entice folks to come and stay here at our inn. You have to find what you're passionate about, what you enjoy, and how you can put that over to guests or, or customers and how to make them want what you have. I want it all. Now, one of the neatest things that we do as innkeepers is, you know, we try to cater to our guests' needs. So the third, which I think some people get ahead of themselves on this, is their logo concept. Now, that being said, like we, we use just a simple hibiscus house with the flower. Now, we did change our logo up a little bit for some shirts. Um, this is the logo that, it was some artwork that was made for us for the mugs that we sell. But um, I wanted something a little different. But anyway, but our main goal is to have wherever we can, the same lettering, the same font, the same flower, all of it. When you have a great logo, and this will come from all the best brands out there, whether it's you're selling shoes, whether you're selling hats, whether you're trying to um, sell hotels, a great logo essentially boils down to two things, a great concept, and a great execution. And that leads us directly into our next, which would be thinking about colors. Something as simple as a color do you choose to represent your business or your brand can either make or break you. It can mean a lot, it can mean a little. So, for example, if you use the color red, red is an intention getter, it's warm, it's powerful, it's passionate, it means action. If you're using blues, it kind of means more calm, cool, laid back, relaxed. We kind of use a blend of that to show that we are pushing a very laid back, a very calm environment. We want folks to come to the B&B and relax, put their feet up, take their shoes off, feel like they're at home. We want them to be comfortable. I'm so cozy. Five and fifth part of designing your brand should be applying your brand. Now. Be consistent in your marketing. 63% of people say that brand consistency plays a key role in their spending. Now, you have 39% of people say that they'll spend less on brands that are less consistent. So the key there is 
Be consistent with your marketing, with your channels, with your overall view on how you advertise, how you put information out, how you put information on social medias. So, all right guys, if you liked that video, smash that like button, throw me a comment or two, share, subscribe to the videos. And as we say here at the Hibiscus House, you enter as guests, you leave as friends, get out there and check out a and b of your own. I'm telling you, you will not be disappointed. So, all right guys, until next time, see ya.